The Battle of Ekron, which took place on June 30, 1703, was a battle of the War of the Spanish Succession. The French surrounded the much smaller Dutch force, which however managed to beat it back, break out and retire to safety. The battle had no strategic effect whatsoever. After taking Bonn on 15 May, Marlborough now wanted to conquer Ostend, Antwerp, or force the French to an open battle. He ordered the Dutch general, Kuhorn, to march to Ostend and lay siege to it. Dutch General Van Spar would march southwest of Antwerp, Dutch General Obdam would march south from Bergen op Zoom, and Marlborough himself would march on Lyre. The Battle of Ekeren by Constantij and Frank and Obdam had to send several of his battalions to join Kuhorn. Obdam's depleted force marched on 28 June from Bergen op Zoom to Antwerp. It arrived the next day at Ekeren, 7 km north of Antwerp, just south of Dutch held Fort Lillo. After hearing about this, Villeroy sent a detachment force marching from Dies to support the troops already around Antwerp to pounce on Obdam's force, before it could dig in or be reinforced. The Battle of Ekeren by Jasper Brewers Early in the morning of 30 June French dragoons marched from Merksam and Ekeren in the direction of Capellen to cut off the escape route near Hoven and for the Dutch to return to Breda and bergen op -Zoom. The Marquis of Bedmar and his Spanish troops were positioned near Wilmar's Donk. This ensured that the Dutch forces were surrounded on all sides by a force outnumbering them four to one. Soon Dutch reconnaissance discovered the French dragoons and Obdam immediately sent his cavalry to Hovenen, but it was too late, the village was packed with French troops. An attempt to conquer neighbouring Meusbroek also failed. Then the French attacked, and Obdam tried to take Orderen, an attack which was briefly successful before the French retook the village. The fighting went on for the entire day. The engagement was long and bloody. Dutch drill and independently and quick-thinking lower commanders made up for their lack in numbers. Towards the end, many units were out of ammunition, and several Dutch units continued to fight with fixed bayonets only. By 8 o'clock there was no more sign of Obdam, and Slangenberg decided to attack order and to force a breakthrough to safety. Friesheim sent his men wading through the water, appearing where the French had not expected them to. Here too the fighting was long and hard, but the attack was a success, the encirclement was broken and the Dutch troops could retire under cover of the night to Fort Lillo. General Slangberg the battle was undecided, but both sides claimed victory. The French because they ended up occupying the battlefield, the Dutch because they had forced the French from the battlefield, allowing the outnumbered Dutch to retire to safety. It may be considered an operational victory for the two crowns, because it stopped the Dutch move along the Skelt. And it may be considered a tactical victory for the Dutch, because they managed to save 8,000 troops instead of losing 10,000. Bufflers was blamed for letting a perfect chance slip through his fingers. Obdam had panicked in the afternoon and had managed to get through the enemy line with a handful of riders by throwing away their greenfield signs and orange sashes so everyone around thought them to be French. His behavior was not forgiven by the Dutch military, and his military career was destroyed. Slangberg, for his part, was acclaimed as a Dutch hero. He was also furious at Marlborough, who had been outmaneuvered by the French and had not come to the aid of the Dutch. The Dutch took one gun, two sets of dragoon drums and at least 17 banners. The French and Spaniards lost at least 2,800 men, over 1,200 killed, 1,200 wounded and several hundred missing. The Dutch lost over 2,400 men, around 700 killed, 1,000 wounded and 700 taken prisoner or missing. Exact Dutch losses, 2,423 combatants out of 10,629, of which 2,049 were infantry and 374 cavalry. Losses from the train were 17 men, 22 wagons and 30 horses. A large part of the battlefield, including the villages of Aorderen, Wilmarsdonk, and Lillo, has disappeared under the port of Antwerp expansion in the 1960s. Thanks for watching.